Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's a quick video that shows you how to do the wireless setup on the Canon PIXMATS3322 printer. A quick note before we go into the wireless setup, be sure the printer is powered on and that you have paper in the input tray as well as you already have the ink cartridges installed. First, we need to install the print driver and set up the wireless printing. And we do that by going out to this URL address, ij.start.canon, and that'll guide us through the necessary steps. So let's go over to our computer, open up an internet browser, and go ahead and type in ij.start.canon on the address line of your internet browser. And once you do that, go ahead and hit the enter key. And that takes us out to the Canon website. This page here, we can go down and click on setup. Start here, it says. And it takes us to this page where we need to go ahead and type in the printer model number. In our case, it's the TS3322 and click on go. And once done, it takes us to the TS3322 setup page and we can go ahead and click on start and we get this page one preparing the printer and you can watch some detailed videos if you choose to and I'm gonna go ahead and skip right on through these again if you want to watch them that's up to you um, my video here that I'm doing shows you all the necessary steps in a compressed form and it's a lot easier following my video in my opinion Okay, once you skip all those, I'm clicking on connect and it says connecting to a computer and right here you must set up your printer to work with this computer. Download and run the software to start setup. So I'm going to click on download and if you want to connect to your smartphone instead, you can click here. So um, I'm going to just go ahead and click on download and that will download the driver software to my computer here. And once done, I'll click on the EXE, which will cause this prompt to open up. And it says acquiring information on the latest driver and software, downloading files one through nine. And once that's completed, you'll be prompted with a license agreement. And you're welcome to read through this. And then once you have, go ahead and click on yes. And then the next window here, also go ahead and click on agree and then processing please wait momentarily and it's checking the printer status to see if the printer is ready to be connected either via Wi-Fi or via a USB cable and this next window is actually when it gives you the opportunity to select between which one you want either Wi-Fi connection or USB connection and in this case we're going to connect it to the Wi-Fi because we're going to be using this printer as a wireless printer and that's what we're going to do here so let's click on next and then it'll go and check power check that the printer is turned on so basically i have to go over there make sure the printer is powered on and i have done that and then it's doing a printer detection searching for the printer on my network here and this can take um, a good couple of seconds um, to a good couple of minutes um, on some networks so keep that in mind and once it detects the printer it goes wow it's a wireless printer do you want to connect it up as a wireless connection and the answer is absolutely yes and I want to go ahead and connect it up to the sky sat 5 SSID on my primary router on my network so I'm going to say yes to that and then it prompts me for my Wi-Fi password and I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And once I do that, I'll click on next. And then it says setting up network connection is temporarily disabled during setup. This may take a few minutes. Please wait momentarily. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, the uh, Wi-Fi icon disappeared and it is disconnected so yeah it definitely disconnected me from my network 
and once it has finished doing its setup here it'll reconnect me to my Wi-Fi network once again as you can see and then gives me this next window connection completed and I'll click on next and then it starts downloading and installing MP drivers to this computer or laptop that I'm using and once that's completed in about approximately three minutes I get uh, this the printer is being registered to your computer prompt and this can take some time and truthfully it took almost a minute on my network and I have a relatively fast network so keep that in mind it could take even longer on yours um, don't know why um, but uh, in any case um, be aware of that be patient it will complete and once it's done I can go ahead and click on test print and it tells me data has been sent to check if the printer is operating correctly so let's go over to the printer and see if it's printing okay that went very well it printed okay and it was quick and fast and we're back on the laptop computer here and I clicked on next and I'll click on continue online and then tells me the, um, some information getting the most out of your printer okay um, I'm finished with the internet here so I'm gonna go ahead and close this out and back to our desktop here let me show you how to access the Canon utilities that have been installed on your computer here. You want to go to your start menu. Scroll down until you get to the C's and then look under Canon utilities and there's several options here. And I'm going to just go ahead and click on scan utility and that pops up this little window here. And this allows me to scan anything into um, my laptop computer that I would like to. Uh, document a picture an image whatever um, I can also print from any application like notepad here and print to my printer and let me go ahead and do that really quick and click on print and go over to the printer and as you can see once again it prints um, a document very quick and it doesn't look bad at all. It's very clear, um, very legible print, and I like it, and uh, it works for me. Okay, let's check out the copy ability of this printer now. I went ahead and put in a test print into the scanner there and shut the lid. And I'm going to press the cutter button because this uh, document, this test document, is... Um, has some color so we want to get color in that copy and it prints out really quick it scans really fast and to conserve ink you can always use the black button and print it out in black so um, you know it comes out quick and fast and works really good as a copier okay we've come to the end of this video thanks for watching Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like and remember to share.